<laughs> Why can't I hear you? How's that? I hate I hate being interviewed. I'm not wearing smart coats. <laughs> right, I'm back. Sorry. For 15 years, we've worked together to challenge mental health stigma and discrimination. We've used our voices to drive change in our homes, schools, workplaces, communities and beyond. Let's look back and celebrate what our movement for change has achieved. What drove me to work with Time to Change and to tackle stigma was, I think, my own lived experience, my own journey. At a time where what felt like a mental health breakdown and Time to Change kind of appeared and um, kind of really gave me hope. You couldn't mention the um, mental health word with such shame and you were the first one who ever sort of approached me and said, would you talk about this? The stigma is as much of a, a killer um, and a, a destroyer of confidence as mental illness could ever be. But I knew because of stigma, you know, people might not actually seek help. Every time someone spoke out about their own mental ill health, it made it just that little bit easier for a teenager who was worried to speak out and get help themselves. On a much more kind of public level, it's about getting more celebrities, the royal family, so many different people to kind of be more vocal and kind of give permission for others to do that in very small ways. Both of our organizations um, realize that I think stigma uh, is the trickiest thing to change. In the black community that I'm working with, time to change kind of helps me to help myself and then to move on and help other people. It literally was about trying to change the way that people think. And that by changing the way that people think, that that would then lead to change in policy and lead to change in, in outcomes for people who struggle with mental illness. Time to change, you know, it did save my life. You know, I was in a dark place and it, uh, it, it reached me just at the right time. I know that there are lots of young people that are now still in school still working towards achieving their potential because we now have a culture where young people and adults can talk about mental health far more openly. Through Your Voices was looking to address why young black men come in to a mental health system via criminal justice routes like via the police or the courts compared to their, their kind of their white counterparts. It's to have that conversation around what's working well, what's not working, and, and how do we create a different future. We also um, wanted to reduce the, the, the discrimination that people with mental health problems experienced. We have seen uh, almost a 13% improvement in public attitudes. I got a lot of feedback from people saying, thank you for speaking out. It's helped me broach the subject with loved ones. That's the most powerful gift you can ever get. I go to family, events and yeah my aunties and uncles would be talking about about mental health and that was that was amazing to see that was when i really started to think okay so yeah things are shifting i've been so inspired by my sister who lives with bipolar uh, disorder and her son who lives with schizoaffective disorder their courage in speaking out i remember the moment when members of parliament spoke uh, about their own mental ill health in parliament i suffered uh, from quite a uh, deep depression. Uh, it was a result related to work issues and other things that were going on in my life. It really hit home that, you know, people are actually starting to listen and see this as something that needs to be, um, you know, considered. There was just an, a, a, a gradual awakening within society, within the media. As a health correspondent, you need to think very carefully about the language you're using, about the stigma that's associated with mental health every time you are reporting on mental health. There's one particular campaign that Time to Change did, which was um, the Ask Twice campaign. Encourage people to go back and to really, you know, check in on someone that might be struggling. Making the film uh, with uh, my best friend Matt was, uh, was incredible. I really, really enjoyed that. Talking to my friend about my illness and the guy that's been there for me since, since the beginning was uh, powerful. We took an advert that Time to Change had created and done research around. Instead of the household pouring tea, it was my nephew pouring coffee. My sister and my nephew's wife were in the background. It, it became a, a family 
statement. One of the best things Time to Change has done has been that whole Time to Change employer thing. I helped to co-found the Bank of England's mental health network. The benefits were in terms of actually people seeking help, but also in terms of making the bank a more inclusive workplace, but also us being seen as a role model as well. Having posters on, on public transport, making mental health and mental illness something that people could talk about on the way to work, uh, I think those have been groundbreaking uh, things that Time to Change has done. There is definitely less stigma than there was, but there is still a hell of a lot of stigma. Not one size will fit all communities in terms of mental health stigma and campaigning. There's some communities where they don't even have the right words for mental health, which kind of show goes to show how um, it's, you know, mental health is not part of the narrative for them. Life is so difficult for so many people, um, especially based, you know, around coronavirus and the the economic situation. None of us will do this alone. You know, not one person, not one organisation, not one community. It's going to take all of us from all walks of life, all communities and all organisations to do this together. It's helped me see that things can change, I can change, society can change. It's the only thing in my life I've ever done that I'm proud of. To be honest, that's the only thing is that I, um, I made it okay sometimes for people to say I'm, I'm, I've got a problem. To continue to fight stigma, there needs to be more other campaigns which take up that torch and continue those conversations. The legacy sounds cliche, but, <laughs> but it really kind of touches the lives beyond the time that you've been engaged with whatever project or campaign. It is not an understatement to say that this was a movement. Um, and that is definitely worth celebrating. To everyone who's spoken out, who shared their story, who's taken action. Thank, Thank you. you.